Acting Permanent Secretary in the Ministry of Health and Social Services, Berta Kashivena confirmed the death. The man whose identity is being withheld was beaten by a tick a week ago in the Ukwandongo village in the Omusati region. The deceased came to Vinduk for the graduation of his daughter last week. The daughter has since been admitted in hospital, including medical officials who attended to the deceased. Well, currently, um, we have three contacts that we have also isolated. Uh, one of them just having a high temperature, which we are monitoring closely. We already also drawn bloods, which we are going to send to South Africa um, this afternoon, so that by tomorrow morning we'll get the results of those. In the meantime, all other close contacts being in the region or the ones here in Windhoek, they are also being closely monitored. The ministry extracted blood samples from the suspected victims, which will be transferred to South Africa for tests to verify if they are infected or not. In March this year, a 20-year-old man died of Congo fever in the Omaheke region. Nine patients who were suspected of having contracted the fever were treated at the Hobabe State Hospital. Kashivena wants people to avoid ticks or blood, saliva, urine or clothes of people suspected of having Congo fever. All we want is everybody to work with us when we suspect that there might be a case. Please do report. But for now, there should not be an alarm to say there is an outbreak because we are doing everything in our power to do the surveillance and to report timely so that action can be taken. Symptoms of Congo fever may include headache, nausea, body aches, vomiting, and chills. A. Perek Anji, NBC News, Vinduk.